Let's create a simple ball bouncing animation in Flash. To start, we're going to create a new document. Under the Create New column of the Splash page, just select ActionScript 3.0. When the new document is open, we'll first want to draw the ball. In this case, we'll use a circle to draw the ball. Find the Oval tool in the toolbar. If you don't see it, you may want to find the Rectangle tool click and hold the rectangle tool and then select the oval tool from the pop-up menu. At this time we want to turn off the stroke. The stroke is the outline or the line around the circle. Go down to the stroke color icon, click on the swatch and select the swatch with the white background and the red diagonal line. This will turn off the outline color. You can also change the fill color at this time. Just click on the fill color swatch. In my case, I'm going to select a nice blue. We can then draw the circle out onto the stage. When the circle is drawn onto the stage, it will occupy layer 1, the current active layer. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change the name of layer 1 to ball. I now want to change this graphic or this circle into an actual movie clip so it's easier to work with. On the toolbar, I'll click the selection tool and then click on the ball to select it. Under the Modify menu, I'm going to select Convert to Symbol. Make sure the symbol type is a movie clip, and I'll name it MC underscore ball. The ball bounces are going to take approximately two seconds. I'm going to set the frame rate to 30 frames per second. To do that, under the Modify menu, I'm going to select Document, and in the frame rate, enter 30 as my value. Two seconds will now be 60 frames. So I'll go out to 60 frames on the ball layer, right click, and I'll insert frame. And that will put the ball on all 60 of those frames. I now want to go back to frame 1, and I want to enter a motion tween. The motion tween will fill in all the frames between the major or key movements that I make. With the motion tween on, I'll go back to frame 60, and I'll position the ball at its end point. I now want to add the bounce in, so I'll go to about frame 30, and at frame 30, I'll move the ball to the bottom of the stage. You'll notice a little green line with the motion tween filling in the steps in between our major movements. You now can then scrub the playback and you'll see the ball bouncing down and up. You can also hit the enter key to test the animation.